Hello, this is Kian from CryptoBoost. Really happy to have you here with me today on the 29th of July. And I've got a few interesting articles. First of all, looking at the a bit of a correction that we've had on Bitcoin, nearly sub 9k. The the danger of setting stop loss a bit explaining the um, how this flash crash happened and just a bit more insight on that topic then a little bit of John McAfee what he's doing where is his whereabouts or maybe we don't really know that and last but not least talking about Ripple writes an open letter to the government uh, hoping that they don't bunch Ripple with other cryptocurrencies and asking for fair regulation. So let's jump right into it. Now, Bitcoin faces sub 9k price move as bear trend strengthens. So you might have seen we have had a bit of a correction. So Bitcoin dipped to $9,111 over the weekend, forming a bearish candle despite a bounce back over $9,600 US dollars. So for the sixth day in a row, price continued to trend below the 50 period moving average. And it has um, it's, a, it's a strong indication the bears are firmly in control of the short term trend. The daily and weekly RSI and the awesome is oscillator are beginning to flash bearish. So Bitcoin could see a reversal of the short term bearish outlook only if price closes above $9,880. So if we see that, then um, we might have a bit of a reversal. But until then, we've still got a bearish short trend. Now, yeah, Bitcoin dropped pretty low. So 9,100 US dollars at midnight, then quickly rebounded as the, the bulls pounced on the opportunity. Now, in my opinion, it's a bit of a manipulation, but that's nothing new for the cryptocurrency space. So if you manage to catch this dip, then good on you. So however, the general momentum is still favoring the bears with chart indicators calling a move towards 9,100 and even lower to 8,800 US dollars. So at press time is um, BTC is changing hands at 9,475 US dollars. That's the trading price. And as you can see, if it touches the blue line here it's a bit blurry but if it touches the blue line then it would be around 8,000 a bit under 8,800 US dollars so that would be the 100 moving average so the cryptocurrency is now in its sixth day of consolidation below the key line last but not least the awesome oscillator is flashing bearish and if we look at the weekly chart we are definitely in a bear trend um, going down so we've got lower lows and lower highs which is not very good and we've had a bearish engulfing weekly candle and a, a, a bearish engulfing weekly candle means that it's the the red candle is much bigger than the previous green candle and very often that's a strong suggestion that the trend is going to continue to be bearish in the coming week so yeah, that was it. Not very positive, but um, if you're looking forward to accumulating, now might be the time to dollar cost average even more. If you've got a weighted dollar cost averaging strategy where you buy more, the more the price goes down. So many people were afraid that they missed out when the price was trading at around 12,000, 13,000, 14,000 US dollars. So this might be your time to get BTC under the 10,000 or even the 9,000 US dollar mark should the price go down even lower. Now, the thing is with stop loss on your Bitcoin position, that's especially for margin traders since a stop loss cannot really be done when you don't do margin trading. So if you're trading with a leverage position, then you can say in an automatic stop loss. However, that is not always the best thing to do. And basically a stop loss order is placed. You sell your asset a specific price or, or, or so. Um, these orders are intended to limit the loss of the trading position. However, the problem with these stop losses is that in a very 
um, violent and uh, fluctuating market like the cryptocurrency space, especially Bitcoin, it's very often the case that the market is manipulated and you're going to have a small flash crash the price drops down very low your stop loss order gets executed and the price jumps back right above to the previous trading price and in the end you just lost your money so when a stop loss turns into a disaster when markets are vo very volatile it is entirely possible for the price of an asset to swing violently such as in the case of bitcoin and it's not uncommon for this price to drop by five percent only to recover in a few moments later and if you've seen the bots charts very often those are also some type of manipulation where there's a, either a short squeeze or a long squeeze so with a short squeeze the price gets pushed way up above the current trading price and with a long squeeze the price gets traded way below the trading price which forms then a bar pattern as many people have probably seen on on different uh different websites so to to give you a fresh example with exactly this thing with a stop loss that, that gets uh, might get executed if you've got it at a certain price i mean having a stop loss is not bad but maybe an automatic stop loss might not be the best option in a cryptocurrency space when you leverage trading so here's a, a very good example so here you've you've got you looking at the price you maybe go to sleep and you bought in some time way before and you're saying, okay, as long as the price is above, um, let's say, 9,100 US dollars, um, or 9,150 US dollars as an example, and the price is currently trading at 9,400 and you're asleep, and then after there's this massive dump that happens, it executes your... Um, stop loss order at 9,150 and then just bounces right back up in the time span of maybe an hour uh, and you couldn't do anything about it and that's the, the danger of having automatic stop loss in a very volatile asset class such as Bitcoin it's just so you're aware of it but probably if you're not too aware of leverage trading um, then this is not something you have to worry about especially since these things happen so fast it's very often not easy for people to manually um, sell their cryptocurrency but it's also uh, the emotional aspects don't like maybe um, wait a little bit as soon as there's such violent um, price movements don't act irrationally like get out of bed and just sell all your cryptocurrency because you're scared that you lose even more uh, very often you have a big red green bar afterwards uh, so just just keep that in mind when uh, that you keep your emotions in check all the time try and, and maintain uh, a very relaxed and don't get influenced by the movements of the market so as you can see yesterday the price of Bitcoin dropped from around 9,520 to around 9,080 US dollars very quickly and around 6% and it went back to the same previous price it had even a bit higher so around 9,540 uh, 9, US dollars so for Stop loss, I'd suggest to have a meant to stop loss. You say, all right, if the price is trading around maybe 4% under this price, then you just sell it. However, the difficult part of a manual stop loss is you have to actually do it and not just think, oh yeah, well, uh, the price might go back up again and then you don't do it and then the price sinks even more, which happens all the time because emotions are very difficult to control when... Uh, trading different asset classes doesn't matter if it's cryptocurrency or uh, ETFs or Forex or whatever if you decide to ho have a manual stop loss then you have to follow through and sell your 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 position or close just close your position based on your trading uh, strategy all right so now the Bitcoin flash crash 
I'm just going to try and show you with this article how whales are possibly messing with us. And um, flash crashes can be very lucrative for many different actors in the market. So the Bitcoin price dropped around 400 US dollar. We saw that before. So while it's impossible to know exactly what happened, the price action looks like a classic bear trap. A handful of large players initiated a sharp sell-off, luring other traders into opening sharp positions and the whales then immediately started buying, forcing traders to close out those sharp positions, which meant there was then a, a squeeze. And that's what we have here, this drastic decrease in price with a sharp incline in price afterwards where the whales buy back in a position so you can imagine um some put some players in in the market at 9500 we we'll see the price dropping they will open a sharp position and the whales they have probably already sold all the way up there and they have their buy orders already um down here at the 9000 300 US dollar position and maybe the 9150 US dollar position and it will be filled up as soon as the price reaches that so they manage to get a lot of profit in a short amount of time and with little to no risk so the Bitcoin price remains firmly below the psychological barrier of 10,000 US dollars and the short term trend remains bearish with most analysts still predicting a sub 9,000 US dollar price before the long term uptrend kicks back in. Now on other news, John McAfee is out of England and he flees to an undisclosed um, place. So the controversial figure, very known in the cryptocurrency space, John McAfee for his uh, famous calls during the 2017 bull market so the famous crypto promoter and computer scientist john mcafee current tussle with the u.s authorities doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon and after landing in london a couple of days ago john mcafee has already left the country to a completely safe place in a tweet on sunday john stated that the u.s was searching uh, for him in london but as it was a weekend the paperwork was still till monday and here's a tweet from john mcafee on the move again the long arm of the u.s is reaching for us here in london thank god it's a weekend government bureaucracy paperwork is stalled until tomorrow morning we are never stalled we'll update you soon and here's a, a picture from him yeah it's, he never stops being entertaining i must say that now talking about ripple Ripple writes an open letter to the government asks for fair crypto regulations. So leading crypto blockchain network Ripple has penned an open letter to the US government requesting fair regulation of the crypto industry. The letter comes as a response to the growing dissent in the government regarding digital currencies, especially after social media giant and famous for several data and privacy breaches jumped into the industry by unveiling the stablecoin Libra. So the letter is signed by Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and executive chairman and co-founder Chris Larson. And the letter addresses a US Congress requesting not to paint the entire industry with a broad brush as many in the crypto and blockchain industry are responsible for their obligations to the US and international laws. So the letter further reads, Companies like ours in the United States and others abroad employ these innovations in partnership with regulated financial institutions to enable the world to move money across borders like it already moves information efficiently, reliably and inexpensively. In our view, digital currencies have the opportunity to complement existing currencies like the US dollars and not replace them. And I think that's a very good statement since um many um yeah many important people in the us are pretty scared of different digital currencies including libra bitcoin and so on because they feel like it's a direct threat to the us monetary policy to the united states dollars and yeah they're, they're pretty scared about that and that's why they want to bring in a lot of regulations to cut down on these 
um, stable coins such as Libra or other cryptocurrencies. So in the last few months, regulators around the globe have started to tighten their grip on the crypto industry, which was previously been touted only as an internet bubble. The US Congress in particular has been quite vocal against cryptocurrencies. Representatives like Brad Sherman and Maxine Waters have come out strictly against crypto, also demanding a complete ban on the industry. And I'm really hoping for the US that a ban does not happen because I think if a ban happens, then the US will start to lose uh, its dominance in the global markets in terms of monetary policy. The US dollar is going to lose value, especially if it's not being going to be used as a reserve value in the future. And many countries are already thinking about finding another solution to use um, uh, different currencies, there may be even digital currencies as reserve currency instead of the United States dollars. And if that happens, then the US will lose a lot of dominance and global power. So coming back to the letter by Ripple, the letter has com was concluded saying, without regulatory clarity, we risk pushing the innovation tax revenue and jobs that these new technologies create overseas you have the world's attention let's come together and seize the moment and that's exactly what i was talking about before if they don't come um, to terms that cryptocurrency is here to stay and they don't find any regulations or any cl um, clarity in the space and manage to accept these new technologies then if they don't manage to do that then it's gonna they're gonna miss the boat point that's it they're just gonna miss the boat and they're gonna give all these technologies and job opportunities to countries outside of the united states so that was it for today hope you enjoyed this video and i'll catch you on the next one see you soon Bye bye